Welcome to this training and maintenance exercise. Here you'll be working on maintaining this industrial water reclamation system. In this exercise, you'll learn how to properly install replacement membranes into one of the system's pressurized chambers. If this is your first time in this scenario, please open the scenario menu to launch and review the step-by-step -step instructions. If you're familiar with the procedure already, you may begin at any time. Please locate and apply your personal protection equipment or PPE on the workbench. Simply grab the item and bring it towards your body to apply it. Great job. Next, locate your shop rag and lubrication canister. Pick up the rag and apply lubrication to it by dipping it into the canister. Now approach the empty pressure chamber with your lubricated rag and apply it to the inside surfaces. Good. Return to your lubrication canister and reapply more lubrication to your rag. Next, locate the replacement membranes on your other workbench. They look like large cylindrical tubes with metal end caps. Apply lubrication to both ends of one of the membranes. Good. Next, pick up and insert the membrane into the pressurized chamber, being mindful of the proper water flow direction indicated on the membrane. Locate and pick up an inner connector rod. They are a small black plastic cylindrical tube with a hollow center. Place it into the center receptacle located on the membrane currently loaded into the pressure chamber. Great! Next, locate another membrane on your workbench. Apply lubrication to both ends of it and insert it into the pressure chamber. Be sure to push it in fully. Locate another interconnector rod. Pick it up and place it into the center receptacle located on the membrane currently loaded into the pressure chamber. Excellent work. Next, locate another membrane on your workbench. Apply lubrication to both ends of it and insert it into the pressure chamber. Be sure to push it in fully. Now please locate the pressure cone end cap piece on your workbench. It looks like a black plastic part with a mesh cone attached to the back. Pick this up and place it mesh side in on the pressure chamber. Good. Next, locate the stainless steel tension ring on the workbench. Pick it up and place it on the now covered pressure chamber. Now locate the feed pipe assembly. It is an elbowed piece of PVC piping. Pick it up and place it on the pressure chamber's end cap receptacle. Good. Next, locate the two-piece coupling system and bolts left on the workbench. Pick and attach both pieces of coupling to the feed pipe assembly where it connects with the end cap of the pressure chamber. Now place each of the connection bolts into the couplings. Excellent work! Finally, locate your ratchet and tighten the bolts. You've successfully replaced the missing membranes and brought the system back to full capacity. Here is a report detailing your performance for this session. If you'd like to reset this scenario, open the Scenario menu and select Restart Scenario.